We're on the way to Kagoshima, but we have to take a bus that's gonna take us an hour to get to the domestic airport and fly again. So it's a long journey, but it's all worth it. Yokoso, Japan! That means Mabuhay in Japanese. Guys, we're gonna have dinner here in Hai Karate, which is popular for their kurubuta, which is black pig. It's a specialty here, so let's see what this is all about. Let the feast begin. Living a travel life, guys. Check it out. Hi. Hi, oh, sorry. Introduce yourself. Who are you? Uh, my name is Ako. I'm a tour guide and then also the interpreter. Living oh. in Kyushu. High five. <laughs> All right. Aka, that's our friend from Manila. Half Filipino, half Japanese. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Mabuhay yeah, so where are we? This, this is actually the famous uh, uh, Karate. This is uh, This restaurant is uh, known for their black pork or kurubuta. What a way to welcome travel life. Guys, there's a ritual in eating your kamameshi rice. First, you mix it up in the pot, put some on your bowl, then you put this special uh, sauce which is uh, boiled with the bonito which is fish. It brings out the flavor. Then you can enjoy it with your uh, sashimi or tempura. I'm gonna try it right now. This is crab tempura. A piece of that claw. Check it out. And then we dip it here. Mm. Mm. Uh, black pork in this region uh, only eat the food uh, produced in this region and then so they have a special uh, way of uh, cooking feeding. Yeah. Eating. yeah so that's why the uh, meat is uh, a special let's go on to the sweet stuff some healthy <laughs> Actually, 90% of Japanese cuisine is pretty healthy. So we're gonna end our night with some fruits and some tea. Mm. After a long journey, about approximately more than six hours just traveling to get here, this is gonna be home for the night and we gotta save our energy because tomorrow is gonna be an action-packed day. So we're here at the ferry station, we're gonna get down, it's gonna take approximately 15 minutes to get to the Sakurajima mountain. We're here in the ferry, which is the equivalent of the Roro, row in, row out system. Our bus is parked downstairs and behind me is the Sakurajima volcano, which, is, uh, which has erupted a little bit. As you can see ashes in the ferry. We're inside the, the ship. And we're headed uh, to Sakurajima Island, which is also known as the Cherry Blossom Island. And the first uh, known eruption was 26,000 years ago. And behind me is the control panel. They're very serious with their job. Precision, efficiency, that's what the Japanese are known for. Behind me is the famous Sakurajima Volcano, which means uh, Cherry Blossom Island also. And the first known eruption was 26,000 years ago. And the last biggest eruption that happened here was during the 19, 1914. And uh, this place is uh, really known here in uh, Kagoshima. 
because of its, uh, yes. you know, it brings in tourists and uh, even locals alike to enjoy, you know, a breath of fresh air and just to get away from the hustle and bustle of the major cities. And besides that, when uh, before when it erupted, the lava connected this island when it was just a lone, a lone island before. It connected it to the other island or the other peninsula and it made it into one. Woo! That is hot! <laughs> and uh, they say the health benefits of this because uh, the water comes directly from this active volcano over here and uh, it increases blood circulation at the same time it uh, it's good for your skin and for muscle for your muscles like after a long run or if you're you know active in sports this is a good way to unwind and you know revitalize yourself so that's why people come here you know wow it feels good though all right I'm here in the Yogan Nagisa Park, which is also known in English as Lava Park. So I, I'm here with one of their staff. I? Yeah. Oh, so she's gonna give us a little information. So how is this uh, Lava Park so different from the other parks all over Japan? ね、I'm all about trying uh, even street food whenever I travel. I think that's the essence of traveling for me personally. It's trying every delicacy available. Hello. Hello. Thank you. What? Yeah. No, no. All right, so fresh mango, no sugar added. Oh, see, even all the way here in Japan, we get free stuff. Hot but good. <laughs> <laughs> The best way to enjoy an active volcano is with a sweet potato and some fresh mango juice. Alright, so this is the way to relax because uh, we're waiting to get back uh, on track with our schedule and it has been a great experience, you know, uh, soaking my feet in volcanic uh, hot bath, steam, uh, water, whatever you call it. Uh, the experience was really priceless and at the same time I enjoyed the, the lava park and you know the, the, the fresh air and scenery it just made me feel alive and gave me a new appreciation for Japan Okay, these are my friends Onirashi in Japan! <laughs> I'm with my friend, he's a martial artist. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Iwamasa Shohei. And uh, what martial art is this? Yeah, it's uh, Kagoshima is the martial arts, and uh, Yakumaru Jigendu and uh, Togo Jigendu. Togo Jigendu. Yes. So, what will you teach us today? Yes, and uh, very, very uh, important and uh, old uh, finishing. It's uh, Tsuzuke Uchi. 
uh, shout and uh, attack. Uh, shout and attack. Attack. <laughs> Like that? Monkey style? Yeah, monkey style. Uh, and right. then slashing. And then slashing. I am holding a very rare glass. This is not an ordinary one. This is a Satsuma cut glass, which can only be found here. And this was discovered 19, in the 19th century. And it's the craftsmanship that was revived 28 years ago. And can you believe this glass cost 26,000 yen, around 13,000 pesos. And during the time, only high-ranking samurai officials can purchase this and this specific color is very rare and special and was given to other fellow samurais as a sign of prestige and only you know the finest quality so if you come here to visit Kagoshima you better take one of these home to your loved ones the third time today that this uh, Sakurajima volcano has erupted and you can see what a what a breathtaking view Behind me stands the second home to the 19th Lord of the Shimatsu family, which is the third biggest samurai clan here in Japan. And this is passed on from generation to generation and it's well maintained. And now it's uh, being handled by the 32nd generation of the family and it's open to the public for everyone to enjoy. Now we're in business. This is what I'm talking about. Fresh fish, and this is the specialty of the house. We're gonna soon find out what kind of uh, dishes they prepared. And of course, the main event would be these lovely fishes behind me. That looks yummy. Come on guys, let's eat. You're about to see the martial art of the chopstick. Time to enjoy this delicious fish. They call this the... See, it looks like a white deep ocean fish. It's called the uh, gingara. Gingare. In gingare. So we're gonna try it right now. It's grilled perfectly. Mmm! That is the texture. It just melts in your mouth and then you can really, it doesn't taste fishy, just the right amount of uh, grilling goes well with your whatever this is. Mmm, kiwi. Arigato gozaimasu. Wow, this is, this is true artwork for me. The perfect way to slice sashimi, only the freshest here in Japan. And we have a... Uh, we have tuna, of course, octopus, squid, salmon. I think this is uh, hamachi, kampachi. Anyway, they all look delicious. So, guys, let's try it. Of course, you dunk it in your soy sauce, some wasabi. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. Guys, I'm about to experience the Ibusuki Saraku. This is a uh, sand bath done 300 years ago. It helps, uh, you know, uh, ex, uh, it helps take out toxins from your body. At the same time, the heating effect, you know, helps your joints, you relax your muscles, and uh, even helps in, uh, you know, moving your uh, digestive system if it's stuck right there. And not only that, 
this sand is actually natural sand uh, near, by their beach and it's really hot because it's near the active volcano and I'm going to experience it right now and tell you more later Alright. In a short while. So this is how it feels to get buried alive, huh? This is actual steam from the ground. And it's really getting warmer each time. He pours more sand on me because of the active volcano. The natural, uh, the natural heat is just really good for the body. It's like the sauna meets a massage, and I'm feeling one with the earth. Uh, it's, it's getting harder to talk <laughs> with the sand on my chest. So, guys, if you visit. Uh, the south of Japan, this is gonna cost you around 900 yen. It's pretty good price for something so natural and with a lot of health benefits. Are you ready for the second coming of Kian? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's good. I'm sweating inside. This uh, outfit I'm wearing. It's soaking wet with perspiration, the toxins, it's like detox, the natural way. It's very worth it for 900 yen. Wow, that's good stuff. As you can see, the King Kowan Bay, which this is called, is extremely, extremely uh, hot. The water is extremely hot. And uh, that's why they have a rope here for safety because if you jump in, you can get burnt. And as you can see, it's heating up the sand that they use the actual sand that they used earlier to uh, cover me and uh, this is heated by the active volcano that we saw so this is mother nature at its finest I'm in the lovely Hakusui Kang Hotel where they offer not only delicious food and nice uh, accommodation and quality service you can also avail of their natural spring hot spring and also their steam sand bath which you know you don't have to go far to enjoy it it's just a just a stone throw away and then after that you can go relax in your nice room and enjoy the amenities This is craftsmanship and Japanese engineering. The attention to detail is unmatched. That's why ja Japan is one of the most uh, prestigious and top countries around the world. Look at that. It's, it's, uh, the, they have lobster, uni, squid, tuna, and the design, it's the attention to detail that's uh, superb. The ice to keep it fresh, some wood so it won't, you know, Stick to the sashimi and you can't have sashimi in Japan with lemon because it ruins the flavor and you just dip it in a little bit of soy sauce to appreciate what the freshness and quality is about. So no need for any lemon, you just dunk it a little bit. Mm. Fresh out of water. One of the best sashimis I ever had here in Japan. I am very privileged to have tried and tasted this one-of-a-kind, most prestigious sochu distilled here in this region of Japan. It's called the Morizo, which is uh, the top of the line sochu. And uh, it goes down so smooth and it, they guarantee no hangover the next day, no matter how much you drink. So let's see what happens. Kampai. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, mark my word. Quote me on this. One of the best dinners I ever had in Japan. This is simply mastery of the cuisine. God bless the chef who made this dinner for us. I am just living a travel life and I am fortunate enough to taste this delicious delicacies. I think this is lobster tail. If I'm not mistaken. 
it's grilled with a little bit of, I don't know if this is cheese. Mmm. Now that, that's fresh. Mm. The flavors complements the, the sake or the sochu, whichever you prefer. Can I? It makes you taste the food more. No. And then this is the steamed fish wrapped in a in a leaf and then they put they, they they sealed it with this stick check it out look at that if this is art tell me that this is one of the greatest artworks in modern time because food you need not only good taste the presentation attention to detail the quality of ingredients that they use I think this is unmatched. Mm. That is the way you cook fish. <laughs> Language barrier. <laughs> Living a travel life. <laughs>